بيك خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر وارضح من حقك بس بلاش العين لا 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 ما تسوى الدنيا بضيق خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر وارضح من حقك بس بلاك أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر ذكر الله كثيرا ولما راى المؤمنون الاحزاب قالوا هذا ما وعدنا الله ورسوله قالوا هذا ما وعدنا الله ورسوله وصدق الله وما زادهم إلا إيمانا وتسليما من المؤمنين رجال صدقوا ما عاهد الله عليه فمنهم من قضى نحبه ومنهم من ينتظر وما بدلوا تبديلا ليجزي الله الصادقين بصدقهم ويعذب المنافقين إن شاء أو يتوب عليهم إن الله
وَرَدَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِغَيْظِهِمْ لَمْ يَنَالُوا خَيْرًا وَكَفَى اللَّهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الْقِتَالِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا ورد الله الذين كفروا بغيظهم ورد الله الذين كفروا بغيظهم لم ينالوا خيرا وكفى الله المؤمنين القتال وكان الله قوي وأنزل الذين ظاهروهم من أهل الكتاب من صياصيهم وقذف في قلوبهم الرعب فريقا تقتلون وتأسرون فريقا وأورثكم أرضهم وديارهم وأموالهم وأرضا لم تطعوها وكان الله على كل شيء يا أيها النبي يا إن كنتن تردن الحياة الدنيا وزينتها فتعالى 
وَمَنْ يَقُنُتْ مِنْكُنَّ لِلَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتَعْمَلْ صَالِحًا نُؤْتِهَا أَجْرَهَا نؤتها أجرها مرتين نؤتها أجرها مرتين وأعتدنا لها رزقا كريما يا نساء النبي
يأتنك أحد من النساء إن اتقيتن فلا تخضعن بالقول إن اتقيتن فلا تخضعن بالقول فيطمع الذي في قلبه مرض وقلن قولا معروفا وقلن قولا معروفا وقرن في بيوتكن وقرن في بيوتكن ولا تبر وجل تبرج الجاهلية الأولى وأقم الصلاة وآتينا الزكاة وأطعنا الله إنما يريد الله ليذهب عنكم الرجس أهل البيت إنما يريد الله ليذهب هب عنكم الرجس أهل البيت ويطهركم تطهيرا وقرن في بيوتكن وقرن في بيوتكن ولا تبرجن تبرج الجاهلية الأولى وأقمن الصلاة
انما يريد الله ليذهب عنكم الرجس اهل البيت ويطهركم تطهيرا وقرن في بيوتكن وقرن في بيوتكن وقرن في بيوتكن ولا تبرجن تبرج الجاهلية الأولى وأقمن الصلاة انما يريد الله ليذهب عنكم الرجس اهل البيت ويطهركم تطهيرا وقرن في بيوتكن وقرن في بيوتكن وقرن في بيوتكن ولا تبرجن تبرج الجاهلية الأولى وأقمن الصلاة انما يريد الله ليذهب عنكم الرجس اهل البيت ويطهركم تطهيرا
وَذْكُرْنَ مَا يُتْلَى فِي بُيُوتِكُنَّ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ وَالْحِكْمَةِ إن الله كان لطيفا خبيرا إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصد والصائمات والصائمين والصائمات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله
والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك لكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم صدق الله العظيم <تصفيق> We now call upon our Honorable Ustad, our beloved Sheikh Sayyid Muhammad bin Yahya Nanui to kindly share some beautiful nasiha with us, Sheikh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin al-Sadiq al-Wa'di al-Ameen, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi wa dhurriyatihi ajma'een. أما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. It's again very special and it's a privilege to be amongst you here today with His Excellency, the Chief Minister of the State of Perak, Malaysia, the official delegation from Malaysia, and the dignitaries and the mashayikh and the scholars and the activists and all of you today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you with his love unto all of you. There is, I don't want to make this a lecture because this is not supposed to be. This is supposed to be a meeting of love with love, for love, by love, for the sake of love anyway. What brought us here today all together is that Allah ta'ala, the beloved, sent his most beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam out of love to teach love with love for love but there's a hadith al-imam muslim rahimahullah ta'ala in his sahih narrated which is very beautiful i'd like to share with you where a nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said إن الله جميل يحب الجمال. جميل means beautiful. جمال means beautiful. عجيب. Notice جميل is beautiful and جمال is beautiful. And Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم is telling us all in this 
authentic hadith that Allah Ta'ala is Jameel and he loves Jamal. He himself is Jameel Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. It means he is beautiful in what he does. Nothing is like him Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. But he is beautiful in his actions. He is beautiful in his names. He is beautiful in what he does, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything about him, Jalla Jalaluhu, is beautiful. And the more you know Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be Jameel as an Nabi sallallahu describes him, the more you would imbibe that Jamal and the more you would imbibe that beauty also because you reflect your knowledge of Allah onto the slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You reflect your knowledge of Allah onto the creation of Allah. What that means you all know, when you fast in Ramadan, the food and drinks are within you, in between your hands. You look at food and drinks, but you're fasting and you find beauty in that fast. You wait until the Adhan of Maghrib comes and then the food has a different beauty. You stand before Allah and pray. You know you're not praying. You're not praying in the feeling that I have to do this, but you're doing it with beauty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not command you to pray to him out of being forced to pray, but out of praying with beauty. You pray with beauty and to see the difference when you pray as I must pray and you pray with beauty. You present something to Allah Ta'ala in the way that I must, so I'm doing it and in the way that I am doing it because Ya Allah, you are Jameel and you love me to do things beautifully not forcefully but out of beauty and here is a beautiful presentation my salah is a beautiful presentation my dhikr is a beautiful presentation to you today when the month of rabi'ul awwal comes and rabi' means spring and you all know what happens in the month of spring flowers blossom love is in the air that's what happens in rabi' the month of spring but i know we're not talking about the month of spring per se because we're in summer now here in south africa but i'm talking about the spring of the heart this the month of the spring of the soul the spring of our mind that turns into love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when we celebrate his mawlid or when we celebrate his birth, we're not celebrating a birth of a human being. We're not celebrating the birth of a creation here like this. We're celebrating the genesis of unconditional mercy and compassion to the universe that is a creation it is the most beneficial of creation it's the most beautiful of creation he taught us to love each other despite being different despite being different in ethnicities in colors in languages but we're all together in love love of allah love of his rasul and love of doing good. There is a hadith Al-Imam Ahmad narrated in his Musnad and the hadith is Sahih on the authority of Abu Muslim Al-Khawlani. He says, I came to the masjid in Damascus, fi Dimashq, fa'idha halaqatun fiha kuhulun min ashab nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. I found a halaqa, a circle that had companions who were senior, yani old companions in age of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. 
وإذا فيهم شاب أكحل العين براق الثنايا But I looked at all these old prophetic companions in Damascus. I saw one of them was a young man. His eyes looked beautiful. His nur was, his light was illuminating from him. كلما اختلفوا في شيء ردوه إلى الفتى Every time they disagree, these companions, whenever they disagreed about something, they take it to that young man. And this young man would actually solve it for them. قلت لجليس لي من هذا؟ I asked one of my companions, Abu Muslim al-Khawlani saying, I asked one of the people with me, who is he? This young man that the senior in age of Sahaba are actually, when they disagree, they return to him. قال هذا معاذ بن جبل This is معاذ بن جبل also a Sahabi. Abu Muslim said to himself, I kept it. فجئت من العشي. I came late. And I did not see them. And then I came in the morning. I saw this man, Mu'adh bin Jabal. I waited for him until he finished his salah. Then I came to him and I told him, Inni لأحبك في الله. So Abu Muslim waited for nobody. And then went to Sayyidina Mu'adh and told him, Oh, I love you for the sake of Allah. Inni la uhibbuka fillah. Qala famaddani ilayh. He asked me to say, What is it? I told him again, Inni la uhibbuka fillah. I love you for the sake of Allah. قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يحكي عن ربه معاذ رضي الله عنه told him I heard رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم saying that Allah تعالى said المتحابون في الله على منابر من نور في ظل العرش يوم لا ظل إلا ظله I heard of معاذ said I heard رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم saying that Allah said those who love each other for my sake will be on platforms of noor in the day of judgment. Abu Muslim says, I left the gathering and I came and I met Ubad ibn Samit, another Sahabi, radiyallahu anhu. فَذَكَرْتُ لَهُ حَدِيثَ مُعَاذ I mentioned to him the hadith of Mu'adh, radiyallahu anhu. فَقَالَ عُبَادَ عبادة said to him سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم يحكي عن ربه I heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم also telling me that Allah تعالى said to him حقت محبتي للمتحابين في وحقت محبتي للمتباذلين في وحقت محبتي للمتزاورين في والمتحابون في الله على منابر من نور في ظل العرش يوم لا ظل إلا ظله سيدنا عبادة tells him the hadith is longer I heard it from رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم when Allah تعالى says حقت محبتي I will grant my love to those who love each other for me you see how big this hadith is it's not telling you that you love Allah and that's it it's one thing that you say I love Allah it's another that Allah loves you but how can you secure the love of Allah to you if you love each other for his sake his love is guaranteed for you find somebody today in this gathering today that you do not know you may not know his face or you may not know his name or you may not know him well or her put their name or their face in your mind and say ya allah i love them for your sake nothing else and if you can go and tell them that tell them like muaz told him i love you for the sake of allah just for allah if you do that and you truly mean it you may actually be eligible 
to earn the love of Allah Almighty unto you. For once now we can say then to each other, this is what Rasulullah told us and taught us, to love each other. And let me finish by saying to all of you, those of you who know who I know, and those of you who I do not know, but my soul may know, because we are the souls that are together, as the Prophet وسلم, said, Fisai Muslim, Al Arwahu Junudum Mujannada are together. So to all of you, those who are here today, and those who are not, and those who he he hear us, and those who see us, I love you all for the sake of Allah. Nothing else, just for His sake. And I am saying this hoping that we can also exchange love back so we can all be eligible that Allah loves us. Put all the differences aside, differences in thinking and differences in ethnicities and differences in nationalities and differences in colors and differences in languages. At the end of the day, we are one people. We are human beings and we are His creation. And as His creation, we are good creation. We are perfect creation. And we are followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that means we follow the best of the creation and the most beautiful of the creation. And the only thing we can do is to follow suit of that beauty. So please accept my love to you for his sake. May Allah Ta'ala wrap us with his love and his beauty. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Takbir. Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd. And we say to you, Fadilat al-Sheikh Muhammad bin Yahya al-Nanawi. Sheikh, we love you too, Sheikh. لا 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 ما تسوى الدنيا تضيق خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر واطمح من حقك بس بلاش العين لا 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 ما تسوى الدنيا تضيق خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر واطمح من حقك بس بلاش